Hello again, it's Priscilla Batzell at Expression Start Studio Gallery in the backyard. And it's a temperate day, it's getting hot, so I better be quick. I've got some things that I want to try before I go to a larger canvas. I want to try them on a smaller one while it's a little cooler today. This is my OXO omelet turning spatula, available on my Amazon link below show more underneath the video, along with other st great stuff like the tri-tip bottles, where there's one of those like that. And uh, the Princeton Art Tool Catalyst Spatulas, which I absolutely love. Anyway, so this black here is just a base layer to help other things move. I think a little bit more is going to be a good idea. And I've been doing combo ghost swipes with basting brush marks, and I'm not over it yet. And what I think is that I want to take some of the strange little tools that I've been making out of containers my safety pins came in that that I'm going to try and use for bottle tops. Oh, right now you guys got to... <laughs> Time to weed whack next door. I thought they were done with that yesterday, honestly. I'm so sorry. Anyway, so that's what that weird noise is in the background. And I would like this to stay wet, but I can't really put a huge puddle of it on and get what I want. I've got some black enamel, and I'm going to put it down the center. What I really want to do is... Place my gold selectively. And I was going to add it with a shovel or one of those containers. But what I really want to do... Oh! That's not it. <laughs> That's like so really not it. Alright, so at this point, it's time <laughs> to, to find a nice clean container. That's not it. Um, da -dum -dum. Let's find a nice clean container. Let's dump that off the other side so we can actually use it. And then I will put a cap on it. That's pretty cool actually. I wonder where my... Um... That is a folk art. And as long as I'm putting colors in the cup, you know. That one does not look like I shook it. I didn't use the enamel, but I wasn't really planning on this anyway. Surprise! Surprise new kind of art. So we might as well just play <laughs> since accidents happen. Uh, when you're doing accidental art. And I'm kind of liking all of this. I've got paint over my end. And I can put something on this to keep it closed up. And that way I'll be able to use it. So let's see what else I want to do here. I was thinking about putting a basting brush in there, but I'm really not sure what I want to do other than grab that little thing that obviously does not belong. I wonder if I can camouflage that spot. Feeling really very done with this. <laughs> so what do I do now? Do I put a little bit of uh, black enamel at the bottom? Because I can, the name of my first book on the Amazon link, and some gold right above it. Also because I can. Let's see if I've got a swipe card handy. New plan. So basically all I'm going to do at this point is uh, put some black around my edges. I really want to put that basing brush in there. Why do I want to do that so bad? Must be because I can. Why not? Let's see if I can do the same thing on the other side. I gotta go make up some more of that color. 
I'm liking that there was a little bit of black here in between the gold and I would try and repeat that another time. I can actually just play, continue to play. Maybe. <laughs> so, since that's not going as cleanly as I want it to, I'm just going to stick a skewer in there. Let it meld a little bit. That is a folk art blue with some blue unicorn spit in it. I'm not so overly aware that there's so many colors of unicorn spit that I don't want that to go at a different angle. I am going to blow on it. Because I can. And it's kind of cool. I'm having a good time, in spite of the fact that that was really, really rude. Why not have a good time? Not sure I didn't like it better before I did that. So let's just make it a little more random looking. Or blend it. That's what's happening. I'm blending it. I'm playing fast and loose with paint because I didn't really have much choice. Now, if I put some green in there, that would be kind of cool, I think. Let's see if I can keep it. And then I want to put some, yep. Yeah. Making sort of a, a not quite Art Deco themed. I want a little more of that to catch up with the other one. Ooh, almost stuck my arm right in there. So, do I? <laughs> I don't know. Let's see. Let's just use that to cover the bottom right there on that edge. It's different, but it's kind of fun. What to do when you don't know what to do. The only thing that's kind of bothering me a little tiny bit is this up here. And I'm not sure if I'm going to get away with attempting to fix that or not. Maybe having it unlevel wasn't such a bad thing. But I also wouldn't mind if it looked a little bit more matched on both sides. I liked it originally, but I've got to play. I mean, I'm here now and I probably wouldn't have done this unless I'd had that accident, so... So what do I want to do? I kind of want a dot of something up there. Maybe another dot of gold. Maybe some... <gasps> Not again! Seriously? Okay. I guess that is so not on there. Cool. Still doing it. The most incredible dumb moment ever. Make sure that is well and truly screwed on. Holy cow.
I'm going to blow that right out. Take a little bit of my blue. Because I can. I think they're still going wonky. I like these shadows in here. This is kind of strange that I don't get to have the same uh, striations on this side as that side. I'm not sure how to remedy that. I guess it just might be, is it is what it is. I'm going to have to make one of these a little more modified. It's risky doing this, without a doubt. So what else do I want to do? Since I'm here, and I can, looks like an animal. <laughs> it's a purple anteater. <laughs> oh, that's too funny. It won't be. I'm going to change it. But I'm going to change it. by increments because it's fun to play with. I like all this down here but I wish it had gone all the way to the bottom. I don't think it matters. It's just a fluky funky accidental piece of art and it'll give me an excuse to do what I was going to do again. Good thing I pulled out another piece of another canvas. Just drag that right up through. Do I want anything else in there? I kind of want some Prussian blue in there, actually. Just to add the potential for some selling. might not show up at all it looks like or it might just add a little bit of texture or I might want to add it right there and even if I didn't I was going to get it anyway because that was ready to come out I am making some funky little critter I, I gotta say What else? Something else. <laughs> this is still making me crazy up here. I gotta do something with it. put some more of what I started with right down there and then just sort of blend it in without destroying too many beautiful cells or patterns hopefully Well, that's all pretty strange. <laughs> I don't think I care. Still having trouble with this up here. I'm not sure what to do with that at all. I think maybe blowing it out is... an option. Yeah, I did. I stuck my finger in there. What 
what else, what else, what else? I'm, I'm afraid of this little bottle now, but if I can get it open. I'm not having any luck with this bottle today, and it's all over my hands. I did go in the house and upload a movie, so that's part of the problem. There, that's got a little more, um, I don't know, can I call it balance? I mean, it's sort of kind of plant forms, <laughs> but I'm not sure that's really what anybody would offhandedly describe it as. It's abstract art surprise. I'm getting to play with color combinations that I like, though. And like I said, when I did it, I could have just kept it. All right, so I'm going to torch right after I fix that little spot. And it is what it is. And unless I wanted to scrape it off into something else, it's going to be what it'll be. It's a one-off. You'll never see another one like it. That's for sure. Paint burns easier on hot days. All right, I love you guys, and uh, please watch the videos longer. Give me a thumbs up. Leave me a comment. Thank you for the contributions that have kept me painting all this time and know that there is a drawing you should look for on the end screens of any video that will show you this month's prizes. I'm just going to run a little bead of black down the edge and then I'll be done. I love you guys. There's, uh, there's 86,000 of you subscribed and if you're not subscribed please subscribe. Uh, Facebook groups, Expressionist Art Studio Gallery Appreciation Group, are good for students if you're interested in looking for a place where there are other people who are interested in what you're interested in. And uh, Totes and More, excuse me, Expressionist Art Studio Gallery Totes and More has um, my products that I've been putting on Fine Art America and Pixels.com since 2013. And Expressionist Art Studio Gallery Fans and Collectors has what I've edited so far from YouTube videos. If you're curious about that, that's the place to go. And I'm just going to keep talking to you guys while I cover my edge with my finger. Because <laughs> that's how I roll. It's, uh, it's finger painting at its best when it comes to edges. I love you guys. And check under the video also for my Teespring clothing and other interesting things like tapestries and blankets and pillows. And uh, know that there's all over print t-shirts and leggings there that are pretty cool. And any shopping you do helps me out. So if you tend, if you want to be of assistance and you have some shopping to do on Amazon, if you use my link, anything you buy from there will help. Will go toward helping me out. Uh, income is sorely down at YouTube. Yes, I did. I just put my finger in that. Oh well. Maybe I can camouflage it tomorrow. Hey, I think I saved it. Cool. So I love you guys very much. I'm not giving lessons right at the moment, but as soon as the crisis. Uh, with the health crisis is over, I will. So if you want to leave me a deposit and make a reservation for ad infinitum into the future, you'll uh, you'll have some space reserved. The gallery is also not accepting visitors right now, but I do have a website and it's on the it's on the end screens of the video. You can visit there if you have an inquiry for the purchase of an artwork. I will send you as long as you send me the hashtag number and the date of the video, I will send you via email a better copy of the artwork and uh, the email is right under the video. So I love you guys. This is Priscilla Batsell in Spring Hill, Florida at Expression Start Studio Gallery in the backyard with an accidental, a truly, a truly, truly accidental artwork. And uh, I love you guys. I kind of want to add a second strand up there. <laughs>